2022 F350, I assume 250s, uh, probably Super Duties too. All this to do a cabin air filter, show you how. So you're going to need probably a flathead screwdriver and a seven millimeter socket. Um, obviously doesn't have to be on a gun. Um, we're gonna start by opening this. Uh, really the flathead I use mostly is for this little piece. If you look real closely, you can see how it's kind of oblong. So I kind of push that to come out on this side. Sometimes you can pull it out with hand, but doesn't. this is okay to sit. And you're gonna have, on each side, you're gonna have these little things. You can just pull them by hand, one's on that side. The other is, try to get it best I can for you here. So you can see it right there, comes out. This dangles. So then, you can see this is where the cabin air filter is, but you can't get it out because they put this thing here, which is this. So, get this out. Start over on this side right here. This is just a little rubber grommet. It just pulls right off. And then this whole piece right here comes out. Just like a, feels like a really thick rubber or maybe even plastic coated rubber, but you can usually get it. Get your fingers under here where the rubber piece is and just pull towards you. Pull towards you, you're gonna see how it's Hold on by those five clips. Here's where you're gonna need the seven millimeter. This piece gets a little tricky. We'll see if I can do it with one hand. Um, this piece is plugged in, so when you do pull it off, you need to not pull it all the way out because this will stay attached and you'll pull it out and kind of swing it out to get to that cabin air filter. Um, for the most part though, you can kind of grab under here and and pull it. You can see it, it's kind of hard. So you're not pulling, let's see if I can show you this. So you can see I'm pulling on this, so not this. Well, these are together, and there we go. So I'm pulling on this little lower lip and pulling it out directly towards me. Two hands, you can get one over here, get one over here. Um, maybe even up here because see how it separates right there and try to just pull straight for you towards you and This is kind of these new Ford clips this side gets a little hard um, Let's see if you can get it out without pulling those clips out. So Here is this piece So on the side you're gonna see try the best I can here to give you clips I'm just gonna Try to get your finger behind and kind of push um, push that way with that clip up there. Let me get my finger behind it. I'll show you once I kind of get it out. So I've kind of just pushed and then you got to come over to this side. And this side's a little easier. So I let that fold all the way down and kind of just fall out. So there's that clip. So you push it outwards and you can see there's a little piece that clips into that hole so you push it out and it, and it folds out. When you're putting it back in, make sure these clips go in first. So we'll kind of go in like that and then push up and clip. So we've got the camera shoulder here. Let's see if we can't pull it out with this. Uh, yeah, you could. Bends it a little bit on the new one, but when installing these, make sure that arrow, you can see it, the light's kind of bright. Make sure that arrow is pointed downwards. That is the airflow. So the air is being sucked from up here down into a, a blower motor down on this side. So it's filtering it before it gets to the blower motor. So we'll put this back in. So hold on just a second. We got those down. Guess my light didn't want to come back on. We're gonna kind of just we can see up there. Out. You're gonna just kind of point it up in there and just kind of push it up in. Um, it does go on those hard sides in first. It goes in. It's probably be easier with two hands if I was holding this piece. So this is Ford's new. These little orange clips, you can see them. are kind of their new little clips. Um, they use them in other areas, but for the most part. 
goes back on and you should be able to hear that click. Yep, so those are all on. Oh, how convenient. I forgot to put that piece on. That's fine. Look, just once you kind of do it once, it's pretty quick. So, show you how this piece goes on. Sorry. So, I'm going to put those little hooks in, get this piece like up in there. You can I'll try to get you to watch just that one with the light. So see that? So I kind of bend it towards me and just put it in there. Same with the other side. Put it in there, goes in and then I just see here a clip and I go to the other side and I just kind of hear a clip. Put that back in. Put these screws back in. Where's the other one? These do not need to be tight at all. You probably don't need to use a gun. You just... So then this piece with this clips mostly just snaps in except for this little bottom rubber shark fin there. So line it up. Just hit it. And this piece, come and get down here. It goes in that little slot. There you go. So you kind of have to like bend it back. And then it just, oh, see, it doesn't want to, it really wants to bend in and out. I'm trying a hard time getting you a light here. So, oh, light, let's get a better light here. There we go. Okay, there, there we got light. So, I kind of try to curl that. It doesn't like to go in so you kind of have to finesse it a little bit and then once it's in it's pretty flush and you got this this just comes up um these little knobs won't go back in by themselves like some other cars do i'll hold it with my knee so when i'm pushing in i'll use two hands and i'll i'll push in on this side and push in on this side. usually i'll do this side first so you can kind of see so i'll get it to about that point I'll come down here and you can kind of see this one's a little squished, so it gives you a little give. Push that one in. It's easier with two hands. When you got one hand, only one can really get that there. This one kind of popped out again, so there you go. So those are in. So now you got that in. And this piece just kind of come, pulls down. You can see kind of a vacuum actuation, so you'll pull it down till you get it in that big hole and then it locks itself in that hole snaps close and you're done